the Central Lochta Center facility, a tower 462 meters tall weighing 670,000 tons. Most loading accounts for the core of the building. Calculations showed that the monolith foundation slab does not allow uniformly distributing loading from the center to the periphery. An optimal solution to this problem was the so-called box foundation. Massive tower and upper slabs, as well as interim floor slabs, are integrated with the core and walls of the cage. This structure ensures high reliability. The lower foundation slab is a monolith jointless pentagon 3.6 meters thick. It is the base of the foundation and transmits the pressure of the skyscraper weight on the enormous piles going down at the depth of 82 meters. The works start from a demolition of a temporary disk system. A special attention is paid to a thorough waterproofing of the area because the underground water level is located 15 meters above the pit bottom. The base and side surfaces of the lower slab are protected with a membrane. Cage installation is started. As it is assembled, special control sensors are installed in the reinforcement. Their signals help continuously obtain info on the condition of the foundation, pile foundation, and soil. The reinforcement cage of the lower slab of the box foundation is 15 tiers of horizontal meshes. Two months of 24-hour work, employment of over 1,000 workers and 9,600 tons of steel was required to install the cage of the lower slab of the skyscraper foundation. Then, concrete mix is poured in the reinforcement cage. A particular feature is a continuous process requirement. The technique and arrangement of a continuous concreting are rather complicated. Engineers and builders need to be absolutely confident in the result. The logistics is worked out beforehand. The details are sorted out in heated discussions. Pouring is started, and according to old construction tradition, for luck, coins are thrown into the first concrete. 18 concrete pumps located along the perimeter of the Pentagon provide pouring. From them, concrete is supplied down to the reinforcement cage of the slab. The mix is continuously supplied to site. Self-compacting concrete is uniformly distributed on the foundation by self-filling the area of the lower foundation slab. The concrete mix content is tailor-made for the foundation of Petersburg-based skyscraper. 13 St. Petersburg-based batching plants are involved in continuous supply of concrete mix. Enormous pouring lasts for 49 hours. During this time, 19,624 cubic meters of concrete are poured structure. It is a new record in high-rise construction. Upon completion of a two-day pouring process, the builders provide curing of concrete, maintenance of normal conditions for hardening. Within 28 days, the concrete acquires strength. The mix is warmed up and emits heat. This foundation provides an exclusive safety margin exceeding any world standards. By building floor by floor of the skyscraper, builders may not be concerned about the reliability of the foundation. The foundation of the building deserves high trust.